Welcome friends, my name is Mrunal Lamge and today we are going to have a video session on one of the important topics for managers and that is the art of successful delegation for managers. This is one of the very important skill that can actually make you tremendously effective as a manager if you are able to get it and practice it and become an expert into it. So let's get going. There is a limit to the amount of work that you can do on your own. There is only so much value that you can deliver to your organization without the help of other people. Obviously every manager faces that. So he has a limitation on the time that he can do. He has a limitation on the number of hours that he can work in a day. There is also a limited amount of tasks that he can complete in a day no matter how much hard you try to work on. Also, you have a limited energy as a human being to work in a day and to be productive consistently at that level. So these are certain limitations that every manager has in terms of uh, his role to be played. Now if you are good at your job, if people look at you as one of the very good and very effective managers, people will want much more from you. Isn't it so? For example, if you have a boss and there is something suddenly an urgent thing that he needs to send and he has less of time out of all the say or three or four managers he has which is the manager that he will call and hand over that urgent work obviously it would be the manager that he trusts and is the most effective and that's how effective managers when they are already effective they actually get more work just because they are that much productive and that's a good sign I mean to say and it's not something like a, a bad sign of it because that is what you are created that shows that you have created trust and uh, you have proven your capability that you can do the job well. This can lead to a real sense of pressure and work overload and you can't do everything that everyone wants and this can leave you stressed, unhappy and feeling that you are letting people down if you are not able to take up that additional responsibility. So what is delegation if you have to understand in terms of the definition? In simple words, delegation is the assignment of authority and responsibility to another person and normally it is from the a manager to a subordinate to carry out specific activities. So it's just nothing but you giving authority and responsibility to a subordinate to carry out a certain task that's what a delegation is now is it as simple as a definition is or is there an art is there a, a structure the way you delegate is it a skill that every manager can learn is it a way that you can be effective in delegation or if you don't do it well you can be ineffective in delegation so many questions to get answered so let's proceed further In Stephen Covey's words, effective delegation takes emotional courage as we allow to one degree or another, another one to make mistakes on our time, money and good name. So in his own words, it is an emotional courage and that is where you will realize why it is an emotional courage as we go along. And uh, it would be worthwhile to see that we do delegate very effectively such that the risk that he's talking about here does not exist. And that's possible if you work on our effective delegation skills for the managers. So why delegation? We looked at one or two aspects before. So some of the more aspects are obviously managers are hired to get things done through the people. Broadly speaking, suppose there is a sales manager in a sales organization, he is given a particular target. That manager looks at how many team members are in his team and divides the target into those many number of uh, divisions and give, gives each person that smaller target to be achieved. And in that way, he is able to achieve his entire target by getting the work done through his team members. That's the simplest form of delegating work. Obviously, there are limitations to the, to the manager's time and knowledge. 
and that's why it becomes very very important to understand how to delegate effectively delegation also brings other people's expertise to bear in your work particularly in areas where you do not have the skills or the temperament to do to do the best possible job so that is also another aspect of delegation so again why delegation to use skills and resources already within the group to get things done obviously to prevent the group from getting too dependent on one or two leaders or managers especially this would be the case where you have to take a leave and go and travel for some reason or can't be at work for whatever reason if you have not delegated well and people have not actually acquired some of the responsibilities that that you have as a, that you play as a role you will not be able to actually fulfill your role in your absence because people are too dependent on you to be there at the office so in a way that becomes a limitation and if you work on that limitation it becomes your strength so to become more powerful as a group that's one of the reasons we delegate to develop new leaders and managers and build new skills within the group 